My last video was about the Blackhawks winning the Stanley Cup and running a YouTube channel primarily focused on the Leafs. It's not often I get to talk about Dave Boland in back-to-back -back videos. Until at the 2013 NHL entry draft, the Toronto Maple Leafs traded a second and a fourth in 2013 and a fourth in 2014 for Dave Boland. Sorry it took so long to make this video. We actually did another episode of the Steve Dangle podcast during the draft and we talked about it then and I want to give that podcast a little time to breathe. And this video is only going to be a few minutes. That podcast is over an hour long. So if you want to listen to that, link in the underbar. So, Dave Boland. First and foremost, I want to meet the guy in Leafs management who's like, the Hawks just won the cup. It's time to make a deal. First for Stieg and now Boland. Dave Boland has a winning pedigree, which hockey is a team sport, so you can't put all on him. But he only makes 3.6 mil and... I think that's pretty reasonable. Considering Tyler Bozak's camp is asking for eight years, uh, I, I'd say that's that's reasonable, yeah. Only problem is Boland is only locked up for a year, so that's going to be interesting. I, I imagine the Leafs want him to stick around. And I always harp on stats, but with Boland, I don't care. Because with Leo Komarov gone, I see a little bit of Leo and Boley. In that, he's a douche. But he's our douche now. And you can't teach that. You can teach a player how to shoot better, skate a little better. Hey, you should back check more. Hey, you should shoot more, pass more. You can't teach a player how to be an asshole. And for several years now, the Western Conference has known Dave Boland as, as, as that word. And you often hear things like, oh, this player, he's just, he's just such a team player. He makes the players around him better. He makes his teammates better. Boland is the kind of player that makes the players on the other team worse. And if he's in the Komarov ballpark of entertainment, I'm going to love him. And it's always nice to have an Ontario product succeed on the Leafs. Good Mimico Ontario boy, a day bidip. Couldn't agree more, Don. So Boland's here. We've established that I'm happy. I want to know if you're happy. And what the hell does this mean now for the musical chair scenario that the Leafs could be having at center? I mean, you don't acquire a guy like Dave Boland to be your number one center, that's for sure. And it sounds like Boland Bozak is either going to walk or be brought back as the number one center, which I, I no. know. And Grabowski could be the whole spectrum. He might be compliance buyout. They might bump him up to number one center, keep him as the second, put him as the third, drop him down to Colt Noor's line a bunch of times like they did last year. I mean, we know what Jay McClemmon's going to do. He's not playing a whole lot of five on five, so that at least is set. But throw the potential of Kadri playing center in there. I have no idea what the hell is going on with this team. So what do you think is going to happen? I mean, I don't want the Leafs to sign David Clarkson because I think they're going to pay him way too much money. But at the same time, if the Leafs get him, I'll be like, <laughs> David Clarkson. And that's kind of what I got with Bolin. Oh, Bolin. He's that guy people hate, except for Blackhawks fans, because he wins stuff. So let me know what you think of the trade, and let me know what you think about uh, how the Leafs did on draft day in general. I'm not going to offer too much opinion on it, to be fair to Frederick Gauthier and everyone else that the Leafs drafted, because I haven't seen them. I did like Gauthier's deep voice broken English interview, though. Anybody want a peanut? And yet, after well over a decade of Canadian education, his English is still better than my French. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the new Steve Dangle podcast. And when's the next video going to be? I don't know, but there's an explosion coming. You can feel it. Crosby to the Leafs! Okay, maybe not that big, but, but something big.